Welcome back to Let's Play Stay Tuned! Last time, we failed to actually enter a room. So let's try again. 2C. What are you guys doing? Always up to no good. Hey, Chisel, make sure you tie him up real tight. Don't worry, I'm gonna use a square knot. Or a rectangular knot. Or a diamond knot. I want to make a bow. He looks so pretty with a bow. Bows are cute, you're right. But maybe we shouldn't use rope. We can use duct tape. We can use scotch tape. Bob wire, Helen wire, fair wire, mare wire. You can use crazy glue. I like the crazy glue idea. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, so we're back in this situation again. However, this time we are going to save him. I'm kind of a little suspicious on how this is actually supposed to work. Like, what is the trigger in terms of whether the train runs him over or not? Then again, well, probably putting one brick in front of it probably isn't going to work, but... Then again, how are these bricks staying together? I'm not using, like, mortar or any sort of cement to put this together. Why you? Fine. Is that good? I've been feeling a little run down lately. Okay, apparently that was good enough. Say your prayers. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> Who would have thought of waterproofing? How dare he laugh at my superior intellect? Listen, guys, you've got to find that remote. There's just no telling what they'll do next. Hurry, partner. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do next, but we've made it to the western town room. It's a bit weird. And we have a wonderful tumbleweed going down over and over and over. Now, I'm not going to get any keys here. There actually are two keys that I can get here. And one, the one is actually in the screen and the other is in the barbershop. Uh, in the barbershop is actually you play a game. I'm going to do the game later when maybe I do not need a key at the moment. And the saloon actually houses a game that I'm going to come back to. But yeah, the train sequence that I saw that you saw before coming into this room proper, I never got that um, scene before. I got Scoops eating him, which you saw in the musical number a couple episodes back. And then there was also, what was it, Chisel was, hits him with a golf club, threw the ropes and out, and pretty much saves him. I have no idea. But anyway, let's go into the jail. Now, yeah, what possibly could go wrong? Hey, stupid! You're all locked up! You're all locked up! Well, definitely wasn't expecting this. How, I just walked into the door. How did I get behind these? Oh, great. Well, we have Scoops and Schmooze sleeping here, and ooh, let's get these keys. You didn't think it would be that easy, did ya? Uh... I actually kind of thought it would be that easy. Well, we can't use the keys to get out of our cell here, and the lock, well, it's completely pointless. So how are we supposed to get out? A minute. This bar. Hello. What over here? Now the weird thing about this cursor here is that if you you can't actually 
follow the bar. You have to go where the bar was originally set and click. Which is kind of odd. Come on, one more. It's a jailbreak. Moose, do something. Oh, brother, a pixel and chisel gonna be mad. And then we're out. Yeah, we can't actually do anything with uh, Scoots and Schmooze, but we are apparently strong enough in Cartoon Land in order to break through bars. Hmm. It's our first use of our so-called cartoon toony abilities. Well, let's leave. Now, what would happen if we go back in? Well, look at our cursor here. It's a target. We can just shoot. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Now, some actually have some sort of effects. Not the code or anything. But if you shoot the Frank wanted reward poster, Ben, we get Ben. Yay. And if we shoot the lamp, it breaks. However, it only breaks once. So let's just do this and make it even more creepy morbid. Can you hear me over that guy? No, no, no. But that's pretty much the gimmick to this room. If you shoot him again, Frank comes up. And like so. That's pretty much all we can do in the jail. And that's all I'm going to do in the western room until we go up to the third floor where we have another door to go through. So, let's make our way over there. Third floor! Hi, Frank. I know there are more, but I can't... I'll have to, like, actually manually do, like, trigger them in order to record them. Because I'm not getting them right now. Anyway, time for 3C. Hey, in here, see? I'm inside the vault. You'll need to find a combination or something to open this thing up. To get some loot, see? Loot. Ah, cheese, see, mister? Jeez, huh? Now we saw a po we saw a little post-it note on our map screen about something in the vault. So the gimmick here is that you either have to find three items or three symbols in a passcode. So you can either find the button tape thing and the microchip or the three. I've actually done better than that. Aww. This room is actually a bit messed up. And by messed up, I mean easily... easy to beat. Now, this is pretty much a clicking room. There are so many drawers here that you can click, it's actually kind of ridiculous. You'll be surprised at the ones that you can't click. Aha! Here we go. Here's a button. Now, where's the one I opened? Oh, here's another button. Okay. Where's the button? There's the button. Okay, let's put another button on. What? How does that work? Yum. Say, you just want some cheese, see? Congratulations, kid. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the room is kind of a bit weird like that. If you find three of the same item and put them on there, it'll register as finding three different items. So that's pretty much how it works. And we have our first item. Cheese. Alright. But where can we use cheese? There is a use for it. And it's actually the only item that we have that we can repetitively use. Well, let's see. There was a room that actually was completely full of nothing, but it was... Wasn't it down in the cellar? That's nice. 
Oh, Dorothy. Ah, oh, the cellar. Love. Screw this laundry. Yeah, we got mice here. Or rats. One of the two. Well, now that we actually have the cheese, we can hit the lamp and... Hey, what do you know? Look, fellas, it's another innocent victim of those toons pranks. <laughs> Need some help, huh? Why help them? What are they gonna do That's for us? That's right, they never do anything for us! Shut up, Leo! I'm in charge here! I heard them t t t t t talking s s something uh, about yeah, 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 yeah. Spit it out. meatloaf. Come on, come on. It's that Finley dame. She's your ticket. <laughs> but watch out for them cats. They're everywhere. That blue one, he hit apartment keys everywhere. Sometimes you'll have to g g g go b b b b back to the same p p p p p areas. Yeah, like that pirate ship. Or apartment 2B. Did you check out the shaving cream in your bathroom? Or the memo up on the refrigerator? Or sometimes you're just gonna have to work for it, kid. Like mess with that timid dude. What's his name? Fiddle. Yeah, Fiddle. Find him in the restaurant or in the barber shop, and you'll get some keys. Did, 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 did you dig up the t -t -t treasure yet on the d -d 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 desert d -d -d unpopulated island? Or have you played the ridiculous head game in the Sahara Desert? And then there's Frank's stupid brother Hank. He's always having trouble with his vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> Good one, Squeaks. Shut up, you imbeciles. Hank's so stupid. All you gotta do is plug it in. And those freaks, jeez, freaks of nature. But yous won't get nothing without MIDI. Except for some burnt fingers. And don't forget to make phone calls. Plenty of phone calls. There's a phone down here somewhere. Of uh, uh, course. S -s Sorting laundry is it? S -s it's, 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 it's very necessary. And Vinny, the bank. It's important to open all the drawers. You didn't eat the combination, did you, Ralph? Uh, n n n n uh, uh. So yeah, we pretty much just oh, Dorothy, you know got all the hints we needed in order to beat the game there if you know how to do it. The one hint that they give you is co is a complete stumper to me because I remember the one hint that they said was, did you bit um, what was that? Did you dig up the treasure on the deserted island? And I cannot for the life of me remember where the deserted island is. I don't remember if it's a separate room or if it's connected to another room. But, yeah, I vaguely remember it. I probably only got it in one entire game that I've ever played of this game. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of continuity issues with finding with finding the cheese and getting to the rats. Because they give you hints about the vault in order to get the cheese in order to talk to them. Continuity. Continuity. But anyway. We now need another key in order to get into Two, one of two rooms. You can do the. You can think of the other hints of what you like, but I know what I do know what I'm doing, and I know the order of what I want to go through. Anyway, what I want to do now is go back up to the fourth floor, and in the fourth floor, I actually want to head back to the room that housed the Mortal Kombat. This room. Why? <laughs> Here's a slammer. Oh good, I have to play this first. Yeah, um This is a It's not no, it's not hard at all. But it's a bit of a pain sometimes. Let me see. Because you have to find the right places in order to do that, and you can't do anything in the room until you do. So let's get this over with. My cursor is nowhere near touching the pieces at some point. But when you do that, you can finally interact with the room. 
If you go into the burning building here, you go back to cartoon combat, which I will do later. But, however, you can get a key in this room. Way over here, in the back, there's a key in this building back here. That's really all I wanted to do here. Chill out! I'll have it fixed in a minute! Now, as we're getting close to, we only have one key. There are several keys that I have not picked up. For those keys that I haven't picked up, I'll go over their locations. I will. And my, I'm ugly, and my mother dresses me funny. That's nice. Well, anyway, we have to head back down to 1D and finish off the first four rooms. You gonna do any more than that, Pixel? I keep getting the names mixed up, I'm sorry. 1D! Ah, the prehistoric room! Lots of stuff to do here. It's actually a staple uh, room in the game, and actually solves many puzzles. Or, actually, one. I... Yeah, in, in another video, I think I told you about other ways in order to get up to floor 5 besides Hank walking the way, and one of them is, the ter is a ter 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 is a pterodactyl mother looking for her baby. She will not move until she finds her baby. You can find the baby in this room. However, I'm going to go through a couple more things... A couple more things to do in this room, such as click on stuff. Because there's a lot of interactivity in this room, such as this wonderful plant here. There's your jazz episode. There's your jazz number for the episode. We can also click the water. Okay, let's, what else is there? There's a volcano in the back. What happens if I click on that? Okay. Now we can also put our hand on this little pebble here. It's a nice soft and round one. If we do that, we can move the screen. What is behind the screen? Oh. Take of what you will of that. And then when you just let go of the pebble, it pretty much just goes back to whatever it is. It's interesting that the plant and the egg are the only things that are real in this prehistoric world. What happens if I look at this footprint? More? Alright. Yeah, there's actually nothing you can do with the other prints. So now we have more prints. Now there's this rock here. What happens if we pick on a rock? Give me hungry, give me food. Well, that was a nice cartoon short. However, we're not done yet. You see that Frank's still here. Let's get away. Let's click on him and get rid of him. Yep. Now, there's one other thing that you can click in here, other than the egg here, that I didn't notice until just recently. You can actually click on the trees back here. Ah, 
Yeah. Well, okay, that leaves two things in this room that you can still click on. One is this little puzzle here. Puzzle game in the crack of the earth. And also the egg. Well, what's in the egg? Uh-oh. Hatching. Uh-oh. Look, it's a pterodactyl baby! This is exactly what we need if the pterodactyl mother was blocking the fifth floor hallway. However, it follows us like we're the mother. Oh, goody. Now, when we do this, we actually can't go into the crevice. It actually turns into an outway. However, that's kind of what we do. We can't have fun with this pterodactyl all day. Sorry, buddy. Mommy, don't leave me, mommy. They always seem so sad. Well, next time, we're actually gonna head and find one final key. How are we gonna do that? Find out next time. <laughs>